right now.
Good morning, I'm Anjali. And I'm Sam. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, and it's Cycle Day 4. Today's lunch features the chicken and cheese quesadilla, Mexican rice, and corn and black bean salsa. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. There will be no D&D after school today. Repeat, D&D intramural has been canceled for today. It is time for our April Spirit Week. Remember that student participation will earn your team spirit points for the fun reward. Remember, Dallas Town Apparel always counts. Monday, April 15th is Purple Heart Day, which recognizes some of the military's most unsung heroes, their children. The day encourages everyone to wear purple, representing all branches of the military and showing unity with each other. We hope to see the school flooded with purple. We have a sports team in action today. The boys soccer team has a home game against Kennerdale at 4 o'clock. We wish all players the best of luck. Today we send happy birthday shout outs to Maidesha Bordonada, Grayson Bortner, Sam DeLuca, Gabriel McLean, Genevieve McLean, and Cheyenne Webb. We hope you all have a great day. We now go to Ms. Carl Ryder and Mrs. Stout for Tuesday Trivia. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. Stout. Good morning, Ms. Carl Ryder. How are you today? Good, how are you? I am excellent. Do you know what day it is today? Tuesday. It is Trivia Tuesday. It is also National Unicorn Day. Unicorn Day. National Unicorn Day. Um, here I have my friend. This is Molly the Unicorn. Um, joining us here today as well. Um, it is such an exciting day. It is. Did you happen to see the eclipse yesterday? I did see the eclipse, did you? I did with my special glasses. Um, hopefully none of you out there looked directly at the sun because you might have some trouble seeing today. They would never. I hope not. No. All right, so um, we have um, Mrs. Stout here as our special guest today. She is one of our seventh grade math teachers. I heard you talking right before the announcement started about PSSAs. Yes, yeah, coming up. Sounds like we have some students in here excited about math PSSAs. Um, so we have <laughs> ELA PSSAs coming up first. Yes. Um, and those start on April 22nd, so in just a couple of weeks, followed by the following week with math and science. So those are uh, coming up very, very soon. So today we have a, I'll call it a math-ish, a math-ish. It's kind of math -ish. There's some math involved yeah. um, with our trivia question today. So it goes along with National Unicorn Day. And for this, you have to use a cipher. Do you know what a cipher is? I think I've used one of those in math before. Can you, can you kind of describe yeah. how, how it works? So like A is one. B would be two, because it's the second letter in the alphabet. Yeah, so there's all kinds of ciphers, yes. but that, that's the one we're going to okay. use today. You're yep. totally right. So yeah, so if you assign every letter in the alphabet a number, yes. so A is one all the way up through Z is 26. Do you know we're one of the only countries that calls the letter Z, Z? A lot of other countries, English-speaking countries, they call it Z. Z. Did you know that? I had no idea. So Z or Z is 26. So that's how it's going to work. We're going to take email or number? 22. Ooh, 22. Any significance of that number? It's just my favorite number. It's two twice. Two twice. I love it. So email or number 22 to me, to Miss Colt Rider. You're going to use the cipher. To spell the word unicorn. To spell the word unicorn. And then add those numbers together. And you're going to give me the total. It's going to take them a little bit, I think. <laughs> right? We need yeah. to find some filler here. Um, 
I don't even know. Do you, well, actually, in preparation for today's uh, trivia question, I was reading a little about unicorns this morning. And apparently, science teachers, I don't know, you might have to, to like correct me on this. But apparently, like 39,000 years ago, there was, were actual unicorns? Like some kind of animal with the one horn? I don't know. Were they classified as a unicorn? I, listen, I, this look like I don't know. I, I was okay. kind of skimming some articles. I don't even know if they were reliable sources. <laughs> you know, you have to be careful with that on the internet. Sometimes true. your sources aren't reliable. But I read that this morning. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But apparently, according to some sort of source, 39,000 years ago, there were actual unicorns. I, first I heard What do you that. think, Molly? Molly, are you real? Mm. She doesn't have much She's to say. She's quiet. All right, I feel my phone vibrating. It might just be a normal email, but maybe it's <laughs> trivia email. Do you think, okay, so the, like, they would have had to count to you. You. What, what is N. it? Let's see, you was, oh my goodness, 21. That was a lot of counting. And then add from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, N I think was 14. Yep. So, and there's actually two N's in Unicorn. There is. So 14 twice, that's a lot of adding. I that's hope a, you had your pencils out. Do you think they used a calculator? Definitely. Yeah, you, know, you can use a calculator on the PSSA for most of the questions. Yeah. There's yeah. a couple at the beginning that you can't, but most of you can. Okay, do you think we've stalled enough? I think so. Okay, let's try to count let's, this one. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, look at all these. They were faster than I, I know. thought. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20. Two more. 21. They even showed their work. Okay. That's a winner to me. Hello? Hi, who's this? This is Mrs. Dinsmore and Mrs. Michelle Eckley. From what team? We are Team Endeavor. From Team Endeavor. Great to hear from you today. What is the answer? What did we get as our answer? 94. 94 is the correct answer. Great work. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Dinsmore and Team Endeavor. Job, guys. That was a little bit of a test here this morning, but I'm proud so many people got that right. Any parting words? I hope you have a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Happy National Unicorn Day. I hope it's a fantastic Tuesday.